guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my everyday makeup look. This is the kind of makeup look if I want to do a little bit of a natural beat, I'm not trying to do too much. This is my go-to makeup routine. This kind of makeup I believe looks great on anyone. So if you want to use the same techniques or similar products and really make it your own, I'm sure you're going to look absolutely fabulous. So without further ado, Let's jump in. All right, so I'm just gonna clip my hair back just so that it's out of my face and not getting into my makeup. Got these little hair clippies. I've already done my skincare, so I'm gonna jump right into primer. So right now I'm using the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. And I'm just gonna put this all over my face to grip it all up for my foundation. Now I'm not gonna lie, I don't do primer every single time, but if I know I want my makeup to last all day, I'll definitely use this e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. This is all primed. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. Right now, it's a little bit dark for me. The shade was a perfect match like three months ago, but now it's a little bit dark because I get so super pale in the winter. But right now, the shade that I have is Pebble 3C2. I like using my hands to apply foundation because I've found that it gives the most smooth coverage. I know that a lot of people like to use brushes, but honestly, I've been doing this for years, so I'm not gonna start doing something different now. And of course, I just wash my hands. I never apply makeup or foundation without first washing my hands with antibacterial soap because I've worked too hard on my skin to just mess it up because I don't wash my hands. Like, absolutely not. And I don't know about you, but whenever I'm doing my makeup, I wash my hands like five or six times throughout the process. I just love how smooth it goes on when you just use your hands. I don't see dabbing marks or anything like that. This foundation is my absolute favorite foundation. I tried it back in, I don't know, maybe 2017 or 2018. It was the most incredible foundation I ever put on. It just stays all day. Your skin looks incredible. You can do a matte look with it. If you wanna do more of a dewy look, you can. It just stays in place. It makes you look airbrushed. It makes you look incredible. I don't even experiment with other foundations at this point. When I find something I like, I just stick to it. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? It makes me wonder, like, are there girlies out there that exist that really stick to their go-to products still? Because I'm definitely one of those. When I find something I like, I just keep going back to it. I don't try a bunch of different viral products unless I'm really in the market for it. But once I find what I like, I just stick to it. I'm gonna go wash my hands. All right, she's back. Now I'm gonna be using the IRL Filter Finish Concealer by Revolution and it's in the shade C7. I really love this concealer. It's a fantastic concealer, and I also like it because they sell it at HEB, which is close to me, so I can just run up the store and replace it really easily. I don't have to worry about going to an Ulta or a Sephora. They sell this at HEB, y'all. I just go in under my eyes, kind of create that kind of shape. Okay, I'll put a little bit on my nose, and a little bit right there. I take my ring finger, to blend it out. It's the most delicate finger and you know underneath your eye is very delicate. We're gonna trace the upper part of our eyelids in just a moment so you don't really need to worry about getting it up there. This really brightens up the under eye. I don't like a too too bright under eye because at some point if it's like four or five shades too bright you just look very artificial but maybe two shades lighter than your skin tone or maybe even just a shade helps you to look more awake and it has more of a airbrush look when you're done. Now I'm already wearing lashes. So, I mean, many times if I just wanna wear no makeup in a day, but I wanna feel put together, I'll just make sure that my hair looks good and I make sure that I have brow gel on and that I have lashes on. That way I can do a nice little no makeup day, but feel put together. Lashes are such a hack. Lashes will just take your face up a notch and help you feel super cute with not even having to do all that much because we don't always want to do a full beat. Sometimes we're just trying to go pick up our kid. <laughs> trying to get my posture. You ever look in the mirror and you're like hunchback? <laughs> I'm just like, okay, posture. Now I'm gonna do my contouring and I use the same brand of contour that I do for my concealer. So this is Revolution and this is a contour and highlight stick from Revolution. The one that I have is in the shade Medium. Now I don't really use the highlight part hardly ever, but I use this brown one for my contour. So whenever I do my contour, I used to do a line and it would just 
look streaky and it wouldn't blend out nicely. So what I started doing was a circle right where the hollow of my cheek would be, but just slightly higher. Do the same on the other side. All right, I'm gonna get my temples and my forehead and we're gonna blend it down in just a moment. I take this contour brush and whenever I blend it out, I don't start from the middle because then it's gonna leave this really ugly streak in the middle. You want the middle of it to be the darkest and kind of soften the edges. So I just start dabbing, dabbing. <laughs> I just start dabbing the edges to soften it. Stick with the dab, dab, dab. I'm still working with my wet ingredients, so the next thing that I do is I go back in with the same concealer and I use it to outline my brows. Now before I started this video, I already used brow gel on my brows. So if you didn't do that and you want to follow this same look, you can do that. My brows are gel, now I'm going to outline them with concealer. I just use my finger to blend it out so there are no harsh lines in any. And I actually don't have a lot of brow right here, but whenever I outline, if I outline further in this way, it actually creates the appearance that I have more brow, which really evens out my face. My brows are slightly further apart than I'd like them to be, so makeup really helps to balance it out in that aspect unprompted this is probably just me <laughs> do you ever look in the mirror and then just like move your nose like I don't know why I do that I just like looking in the mirror and moving my nose I know it's super weird My brows are naturally pretty downturned on the ends. One of the things I do to balance out my face a little bit, ever so slightly create an adjustment with the shape with how I do the concealer because I can't really change the hair unless I wanted to pluck it. I am just so far beyond the over plucking era. I mean, I've learned my lesson from my teen years and early 20s and maturity is not over plucking your brows. So I just ever so slightly like try to do a, a more of an upward motion so that it creates more of an appearance that the tails of my brows go a little bit more upward, which helps to also snatch my face a little bit more. And then the last part I do to line them is go straight down the middle like this. It's amazing because it really makes it look like I have brows there, but I don't. Shout out to all of the girls who have naturally thick brows. I'm trying to get like you. Y'all, if I wanted to stop here, I could, but we're gonna go in with those finishing touches that really bring it all together and take it up a notch. All right, what are those things? I'm gonna fill in my brows. I'm gonna use the NYX Professional Makeup Micro Brow Pencil. I use the shade Ash Brown. So I kind of go along the base and take little strokes across the bottom of the brow. And then I move towards the tail and fill in the brow. It reinforces the shape that I carved out. Back in 2016, I used to overdo it with my brows. People would always tell me that my eyebrows were on fleek, but I look back on those pictures with horror. So I fill in a lot more on the outer tail and do just little strokes on the inner tail. And then I flip it to the other side and blend it out with the spoolie. This makes it look so natural and nice. Now that's a brow. That is a brow. And whenever I fill in my brows, I try not to use a downward motion. I try to keep up upward strokes. It maintains that lifted appearance. It's coming along nicely. Now that I've done all of the wet products on my face, I'm gonna go in with the dry products and these are your powders that are gonna set everything. 
So I'm using this Milani bronzer. Technically, it says that it's a baked highlighter, but it's in shade 140 Bronze Splendor. So it does have a little bit of a shine to it, but it really looks more like a bronzer in my opinion. Anywhere where I use contour, I will go in with this bronzer and reinforce it with powder. When I do this, I'm really locking it in place. Then I also like to go underneath my chin so it makes me look a little more snatched. Looking bronzy, a pale girl's dream. <laughs> then I go in with some blush. This is the e.l.f. blush. I'm not picky about blush as long as it's the right color. It does the job. Blush is blush. This is in the shade Always Rosy. Now this blush will go on kind of intense so I have to be very careful about how much I use and how I place it because this can make it look muddy if I am not careful. And I do put a little bit of blush on my forehead just to give me more color because I'm hashtag pale. This is what locks it in the absolute best and helps to blend out any mistakes with blending, any mistakes with too much powder. The Laura Mercier setting powder. I use the translucent loose setting powder. I use this like an eraser or as if I'm editing my videos. I'm editing my face with this because it helps. The same way that love covers a multitude of sins, this Laura Mercier setting powder covers a multitude of mistakes, okay? Now, if you prefer a dewy skin look, you could skip the setting powder or you could use setting powder, but wait like an hour or two and your skin will look dewy again. If you're gonna do something right after you set your face, it's gonna look matte. Well, if I wait a couple hours because my skin can start to produce that oil again, um, it'll go back to having that dewy look. It just blends it out so nicely, makes it look so pretty. Lock it in, lock it in. Gotta get that forehead. Okay. Now, this is my go-to look without any lips done. So what I would do is throw on my preferred lip gloss. If I'm going for a lipstick look, I might put on some lip liner and some lipstick. If I'm going a glossy look, I'll just put on lip gloss. But this is the base of it, okay? Let me go put on some gloss. Now, I've never put on this lip gloss without any lipstick underneath, but for kicks and giggles, let's try it. The Milani Keep It Full Max Plumping Lip Liqueur in the shade Little Secret. Oh, that's such a pretty shade. I love it, I love it. Oh, this is so pretty. This is beautiful. You really don't need lipstick under this gloss. So these are the lashes I'm wearing. They're from Flutter Habit. These are the Lux Faux Mink Lashes, and this is the Weightless Collection number one. These are a really beautiful everyday lash. Comes like that. I just glue it, put it underneath my lash line. It's a beautiful everyday lash. And then last but not least, I'm gonna put a little bit of mascara on my lower lash line just to bring it all together. I don't care about what mascara to use. I use whatever mascara is available and I do a different one every single time. Honestly, mascara doesn't seem to make a big difference. So mascara is mascara. All right, so I'm gonna do a little posy pose moment so that you guys can see the full, full face, okay? Well guys, this is the finished look. This is a great everyday makeup to go to the store and to go to an event in. If you want to make it more of a nighttime look, throw on some eyeliner, upper eyeliner, lower eyeliner. If you want it to be just a natural everyday kind of thing, throw on some chapstick, you're good to go. I'll make sure to link all of the products that I use in the description box below. Well guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos like this, please let me know so that I can make more videos like this for you. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to this channel, hit that like button, and leave a comment below. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.